in listen only mode. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, everyone. How are we going? Just unmuting you all. Um, depending if you've got a microphone, you may be able to hear us. If not, you can uh, type in the chat box on the right hand side to have, say hello. Um, so I'm Rebecca uh, White, for those of you who I haven't met. And I'm Paige Rowlett. So the two of us um, obviously make up Tourism eSchool. So um, I am here in my home office in Marable, which is in the Clare Valley in South Australia. And uh, back here. Yes, I'm uh, based in Adelaide, South Australia, uh, in the city as well. Yeah. So that's why we're coming to you in two different um, two different um, webcams because mm -hmm. we're about an hour and a half apart <laughs> driving distance. All good. Um, so anyway. You want, should we jump in, Paige? We'll let you explain what we're doing today. Sure. I'll just get to sharing my screen. We'll, we'll take our webcams off and uh, we'll jump across to the presentation now and uh, run you through there. So all good, you're in back? Yep, all good. Cool. Oh, excellent. Okay, guys, well, it's absolutely wonderful to have you join us today. So thanks so much for taking time uh, out of your busy schedule. We know um, that the everyone is flat strap um, in the industry, so it's lovely that you've taken the time. Um, as we said in our email, we just really wanted to take a quick half hour to bring you up to speed with what we've been doing um, in the past year and what 2017 looks like for us and also where the opportunities um, of where we could help you um, with your destination marketing and industry capability or industry development moving forward. So let's dive straight into it. Cool. Um, so first up, just a quick recap for those of you who haven't worked with us or aren't familiar with what we do, just a quick rundown of what we've done um, with industry over 2016. So we ran our first Tourism Marketing Academy and Mastermind back in May 2016 and we're actually about to, we're relaunching today the next round of that. So that's a six month program which we'll talk about a little bit further uh, in just in a couple of later slides. Um, we also facilitated tailored regional marketing mentoring programs uh, for a couple of regions, so in tropical North Queensland and Riverina. So we worked with um, a group of around 80 operators in each location and we tailored up some tailored um, training modules, so four modules for Queensland guys on content marketing and three for Riverina uh, all around digital marketing. So we also worked um, and developed local government tourism destination action plans for Western Adelaide. That's the first time that plan had ever been developed and also Port Adelaide Enfield uh, at the local government level. And we also worked with Flurio uh, Peninsula Regional Tourism Board and their executive officer on developing their three-year strategic plan, taking them through to 2020 as well. Um, we also ran our third um, round of our destination marketing and mentoring program. So that's currently in progress. So that's a six month program as well for destination marketers. And we were also lucky enough uh, to be invited to facilitate 10 presentations and workshops around Australia. So we ran them in Victoria, Tasmania, South Australia and Queensland. And we also wrote uh, 26 tourism marketing blog posts as well, which we share out for our monthly e-news, which you guys probably have all seen because uh, you're on our email database. So hand back to Paige um, to cover our plans. For yep, so, yeah, so our plans for 2017 um, look pretty similar <laughs> to what we've done um, last year. Um, as Rebecca just said, um, today we've launched enrolments for our Tourism Marketing Academy and Mastermind, um, which is due to start on the 9th of May. And we'll go into detail about what that um, program looks like in the uh, next slide. But um, for 2017, obviously we're running that. We also want to work closely again with destinations this year, but um, in what capacity we're currently working through and would absolutely love your ideas on what is needed um, and which is one of the main reasons for this um, for this briefing is to chat to you about that. We're also planning um, on writing a blog post per fortnight for the year again so hopefully we'll have around 25 fresh articles um, for you to share with your industry um, and also obviously we write for industry but we're also writing for um, 
destinations as well. So hopefully you'll be able to find those um, really beneficial for your marketing implementation. We've also um, already facilitated two free tourism marketing webinars for the Queensland Tourism Industry Council and the New South Wales Business Chamber um, memberships, which is part of our partnership with working with industry councils. And we look forward to um, offering more free training webinars um, through those partnerships as well. So um, we're hopefully going to be launching a few more of those throughout 2017 and, and 2018 moving forward. And obviously, we'd also be absolutely delighted to um, come in region um, to facilitate any presentations or workshops at training days or conferences throughout the year too. Um, it, it is a great way for us to get out and meet industry and, and really connect um, on that deeper level with operators and destinations to learn more about what their key challenges are and therefore tailor our content um, uh, for them too. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I'll just take you, um, just explain a little bit further about our Tourism Marketing Academy. Now, I know we've just had a few people who've um, come in and may have just missed the start of the presentation. So um, don't worry, we are recording this meeting as well, so you can catch up there. But the main things we've just covered so far is 2017 plans. And the biggest, um, the single program that we run, um, this is the second round, it's our Tourism Marketing Academy. And this is our six month marketing and mentoring program for tourism businesses, which we've launched today. We've just run a free webinar this morning um, with a couple of hundred tourism businesses to launch that. And so this is definitely aimed at tourism businesses, but we do have a bit of interest for destinations and visitor centres to join it. So they can join it if they'd like, but they just need to be aware that it is tailored more for the tourism businesses uh, who've got a specific product they're selling. Um, the reason we developed this academy, um, for those of you who know us, we previously, before the academy, had um, self-paced e-courses, but we just found that, um, you know, operators weren't engaged and, or it wasn't giving them the holistic view that they needed for marketing their um, tourism businesses. So it very much takes them from woe to go with everything they need to do uh, to develop and implement um, a really strategic marketing plan for their business. Um, it's basically the way we see it is we know a lot of you in region um, at the regional tourism organisation or local government level are already doing industry development which is fantastic whether it's standalone workshops um, that you're bringing in already which is fantastic so we really just see that this academy sits above that because it, it covers absolutely everything they need to know whereas often the um, workshops and training that we deliver in region um, that you run for your operators is often just one small part of marketing their tourism business um, so really it's mainly for tourism businesses that want to take their business to the next level so it's not for um, operators who are really new to the industry we find it's best for those that are already doing great things and really want to take it to the next level um, so moving handing back to Paige now looking at um, destinations and local government um, so basically in 2017 we kind of want to really look at how we work um, with destinations as we noted earlier in the webinar, we have worked with destinations in a few different ways from a strategic consultation level, um, individual professional development through our destination marketing mentoring program, and also working with destinations um, by delivering tailored mentoring programs just for their operators in their region. So this year we kind of wondered what the interest levels would be to work um, with a smaller number of destinations, um, not only to assist with strategic consultation and destination action plan development, but to include um, education for major stakeholders, um, such as uh, board members, um, as well as industry um, and staff too. So we're looking at more of a holistic approach um, as to how we can help destinations. Um, by having this holistic approach, um, we would hope that we could bring uh, the region's efforts together, not only in a strategic planning, but also an execution way so that everyone is up to speed um, from an implementation perspective. Um, also, once executed, we could also come in and review the implementation to measure results, reset objectives and KPIs for that following period as well. So rather than just coming in and doing bits and pieces, um, working with destination, get everyone on board, get buy-in and try and get maximum impact um, for a single direction uh, for a destination. 
So pass back to Dave and she can explain it in further detail. Yeah. So, I mean, the reason we've sort of gone down this path is from our work the last couple of years, um, we've basically, we're seeing the gaps of, you know, we're we're doing this great training, but the problem is we're finding that it's not necessarily being, I guess, implemented to its full success because these three levels aren't necessarily all in alignment and understanding of where destination marketing best practice marketing is at. Um, so we found we found this just recently working in a strategic plan for a gov- um, local government that if the key stakeholders aren't up to speed with what is best practice destination marketing, so for you, each of you are in very different, um, you know, regional setup, whether it's your board, staff or elected members, if they're not up to speed with best practice destination marketing strategy, uh, it's often a much harder uphill battle to get traction, support, resources, um, to you know, move forward with marketing and moving also away from the older broadcast style of marketing to more advocacy and engagement marketing, which is where best practice is at. And then on the operator side as well, these guys, operators are the ones who are delivering the experience on the ground that we want our visitors raving about us, um, which you then also support from a regional level through your marketing uh, destination marketing strategy. But again, if they're not up to speed with the same marketing principles, they can let down the good work that destination um, staff are doing. Or you've only got a small pool of operators that um, can help you market your region when you know there's a whole heap of other operators that you know you could be could be helping support your online marketing efforts. So again, up till now, we've really been working mainly with marketing staff or at the operator level and we've done a couple of um, training sessions with um, board and elected members and we can just see the value of doing something that's more holistic um, that works across these three levels um, to really get some great runs on the board um, for our destination. Cool. So so I guess, um, yeah, we'd, we'd really, really appreciate um, from a destination perspective your thoughts um, as to whether this type of um, um, service that we can provide is something that resonates with you, your region or your local government body. Um, we completely understand that every destination is very different from the budget, resourcing, industry maturity um, and destination product offering um, perspective and even key stakeholder knowledge perspective as well. Um, but um, obviously, you know, we, we've got a lot to give, but we just want to be able to work out how to put that together in a, in a, um, in a manner that is um, something that, you know, the industry need. Um, uh, and yeah, I, I guess our, our whole um, uh, aim is to try and work with industry to improve the uh, visitor economy um, and obviously love to work with regions um, to do just that. But um, it, Beck and I would really appreciate your thoughts um, if you're willing to share mm-hmm. any ideas or thoughts um, to pop them on email. Um, or to discuss it now. Um, Not sure if uh, we've popped people on the spot a little bit, but um, if we just take you off mute, if you've got any ideas or um, suggestions or comments um, about what that could potentially look like or um, what you actually need in your region. Yeah, we did a survey about about, um, two, three years ago. We sent it out um, trying to kind of work out what destinations needed in terms of that type of support um, and the, the answer to that was our destination marketing mentoring program um, and we feel as though we need to evolve that program, um, evolve that service um, and yeah we just really love your feedback as to, as to what you think could be required by industry. So everyone's off mute so if there's anyone game that's got any thoughts um, far away, if you don't as Paige said that's absolutely fine you can share with that uh, with us um, on email. Um, I know Marnie is here today. You're doing our mentoring program, Marnie. I know you don't have a microphone, but I guess so Marnie's already done the training with us, but I, don't, I guess from a your level perspective, Marnie, is there value you see um, from doing the you know stakeholder training as well as operator training um, for your region? If you want to pop that in the chat box. Um, I know, Bess, you're also here from Air Peninsula as well, so if you've got any feedback, let us know. Anyone else brave enough to speak? <laughs> All good. All good. Cool. Well, what That's would absolutely my, okay. 
Yeah, that's 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 absolutely fine too. Um, I guess the next steps here is we will, um, yeah, we'd appreciate, I guess, any feedback that you've got on um, email. We are going to resend out a um, short destination um, strategy, I guess, questionnaire as well, so people can also share some ideas and thoughts there as well. There's absolutely no commitment from your region, your region. Um, so yeah, anything else from your end page? Sorry, it's still their page. Well, I think Paige may have lost her audio, but um, I think if looks like we haven't got anyone who's got any specific feedback, which is absolutely fine. So we will we really appreciate your short time for joining us today, and uh, we'll pop this recording on email, and we'll send you a link to the um, survey where you can um, share specific feedback as well, um, and then we can go from there and continue the conversation further if. Uh, it's something you're interested in for your destination or again if you've just got ideas there's no we're not going to be held to anything for your destination as well cheers <laughs>